Hi guys, so I'm out collecting uh, stuff for my medicine room to make uh, different things that I need to be making. Uh, I'm out of a few things, so I have to uh, restock. Um, disclaimer, I call plants by what they're used for a lot of times, so I might not say the name of what you'd call the plant, but I will take a picture of it so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... That's one thing, right? Uh, I, I learned the plants not by the names, but by what I use them for and what they do. That's the way I was I was showing. So I might might not call them what they really are called. So uh, don't attack me for it because it's just what I call them. Um, other than that, I guess we should get at her. And I see my first thing that I need right over here. So we'll head over there. All right, so these plants here, I don't know what the real name is. I call them stinkly. <laughs> um, basically, they're used as repellents uh, and to hide your scent. So um, let's say you got a blood wreath or something on your tail, you need to hide your scent. Then you would use these with a few other things um, as a scent repellent. And these are daisies. Now basically what they're using, well, a lot of people use them for love spells, prosperity spells, getting money spells, whatever. Uh, but what I use them for, they're basically for breaking hexes and uh, curses. Same with those, those will break hexes, but not curses. These will break curses. So if you got a dark witch or a dark magic user, put the curse on you. Uh, you need these, daisies, daffodils, I don't know, whatever. Uh, anyway, daisies I call them. Um, to get rid of the hexes and stuff all right that are put on by mainly by witches to be, to be frank um, they don't do squat against a good witch though so it's only if it's a dark witch or, or dark magic all right this is one of the things i wanted they call them foxtails used in a lot of different things that I do so uh, they're, they're kind of a main stable for a lot of different things mainly protection stuff so all right so there's some buttercups and that of course goes together with the daisies all right I'm just going to do a little improv uh, spirit box because I have a question about this area on oh, something else I'm working on. So. Hello, spirits. Hello. Um, I got a question for you. Go ahead, okay. Uh, I'm thinking of someone, and their first name is Alex. I'm picturing them in my head. Uh, do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah? Sure? Yeah? Okay, so I got a few questions. Number one, has Alex passed, or is he still living? Okay, I keep hearing that he's gone. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Um, did he frequent here a lot? Did he, did he walk this river? Okay. Is he along the river somewhere? Alex, if you can hear me, have you passed? Okay, that's a new voice. Alex, did you pass?
Hi. Alex, are you dead? Very much. Are you along this river somewhere? I am? Okay. Are you close to the stream, somewhere along the stream? No. No? Are you along the side of the bank? In the water? Are you in the water? Are you in the water? A little bit? Are you half in, half out? Are you far from here? No. So you're not too far from here? Okay, I'll come back and check on another day. It was just, I just was curious about this spot. Okay, I'll talk to you later, spirits. Thank you. Goodbye. Hmm. Just got this feeling that uh, Alex is around here somewhere. <clears throat> I don't know why. So I just wanted to see if, uh, if indeed he's passed, and if indeed he's near water. So I got basically he's near a river. It might not be this one, but he's near the near a river or a creek. Uh, not fully in the river, partially in, maybe, somewhere along, maybe around from here all the way down to the Superior, who knows, but I think he's connected to this water somehow, so, providing, of course, it's the same Alex I'm talking about, but anyway, we'll see what happens, I'll check it out another day. <laughs> I want to do a bit more, but I'm just too tired. It was just too much. Um, however, I did get what I really wanted. I wanted to get some foxtails, which I did. I wanted to get some buttercups, which I did. And I needed some new daisies. So, with that said, I'm quite happy with, uh, with what I did pick up. Um, I could do need to get some bulrushes and sage. And there's a few other things I need to go find uh, in the next few days. Um, but there, it's not like something I need right now, so so that's good. Um, but everything I needed right now, I got. So thank you, spirits, and, and uh, for allowing me to find it. Um, other than that, that's about it. I got, I, as I'll say, I was uh, checking out for stuff. I just got this really strange urge um, that for some reason Alex was around. Now I'm not saying anything yet i don't have any proof for anything yet uh, i'd have to, i'll have to do a few more spirit boxes and a few more checking out stuff um so you know i'm not mentioning anyone uh anything about it because i don't know for sure about anything right now but um i just got this feeling that he was around and i got this feeling that he passed and i got a feeling that he's on this river somewhere why i don't know um might be way off base and it might not even be the same guy so it could be someone totally different i don't know we'll see i'm gonna just keep uh poking at it like a you poke at a bear and, and see what comes up uh but for now that's about it um i put a little bit of uh, i got a little bit of pictures i'm gonna put on a cinema for the wolf pups and then for astro and above uh I got I, I recorded something else. I don't remember what the hell it was, uh, but it'll be on there. Uh, so we'll see you later on. Uh, Blessings to all. Bye.